Well, welcome everybody. Uh, we're excited for another episode of Continence Chat. I am joined here today with one of our customers that we have had a business relationship for several years. They were one of our first customers in the California market. Um, Jasmine uh, is the CEO of Haller's Pharmacy and Medical Supplies. I'm so excited, Jasmine. I always enjoy speaking with you. Welcome to the show. Thank you in advance for being one of our guests on the show and, and welcome. Thank you, Deanna. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I appreciate it. As a way of getting things kicked off, do you want to share for viewers who may not be familiar with Haller's Pharmacy and Medical Supplies, just a little bit of background about your organization and your role? Um, I think that would be helpful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Haller's Pharmacy and Medical Supply has been around since 1957. Um, I am a second generation pharmacy owner. My dad was a pharmacist and still is, um, but he has since retired and I took over in about 2018, uh, multiple locations here in California. And uh, we are the place where people say, if you can't find it at Heller's, you can't find it anywhere. <laughs> so uh, we, we pride ourselves in carrying Pro, you know, prescription products as well as over-the-counter products that uh, our community has learned to trust. Uh, so we are a very trusted member of the community, and we pride ourselves on that. And our staff really, you know, make sure that they provide that level of service uh, that people expect from a local independent pharmacy. Um, as I'm not a pharmacist, my brother is one, so we kind of have a group collective of how we do things. Uh, my specialty, uh, after spending 20 years in technology and coming back, is really on the front end and over-the-counter uh, products that we source and carry um, so that we can be that unique partner in the community. We do have other locations throughout California, um, and we also have a long-term care uh, multiple long-term cares uh, where we service independent living, memory care, and other facilities as well. Super. And I know um, you also service, I think you've got some CENI products that go into some of the um, adult group homes, correct? Correct. Correct. So we launched a program once we started partnering with CENI to send uh, samples uh, of CENI products along with the monthly deliveries that we would do to these group homes, um, just to get them to see the product, try the products, uh, and understand them a little bit better. Um, it was really nice because we trained all of our staff on the CENI products, so that when they got these free samples, they know that they came from um, their, their d delivery, and that we could deliver these products if they were still interested in using them. Yeah, and one of the things that I've always appreciated about your pharmacy is you do a lot of community, you're involved with your community, correct? I know there's been some marketing things, some different health fairs, things that um, I think just, I, I think of Haller's in the Northern California market and I go right to community. <laughs> That's definitely it. Uh, you know, I grew up here and my son is going to school here. Um, it, we are definitely, Haller's has been part of the community since 1957. My dad opened his first store in 1979. Um, the name is synonymous with this, with this area of Northern California. And so we do get involved. I, I think there is an importance um, to show the community what we're doing because um, we live it every day, but they might not know. So we do uh, street fairs, we do health fairs, um, we do a lot of health fairs in the assisted livings as well. So we'll go out there and show all of our services um, because we, you know, we have a full scale medical supply. We do diabetic shoes. We also do compression. Um, and then a core part of when we go out there is going there with uh, some of the incontinence products. Yeah. Are you seeing, I'm just curious because I, I feel like I'm seeing it in pockets of the country and actually the pockets are spreading. It's almost all the country, but I, I don't ever want to make assumptions. But we are seeing more residents with higher levels of acuity and more chronic conditions. I was talking to um, a wellness director at a community that we work with, and she was saying 
a typical resident in their community has seven to eight chronic conditions that they're taking different scripts for. Is that similar to what you see in Northern California? 100%. I think that's why it's so important to have the role of a community pharmacist. We get involved in so many programs like fall prevention, like in-home care, um, because as the population is aging, a lot of them want to stay at home or are looking for care, but they have chronic conditions. And uh, a lot of times a single primary care, a physician isn't enough. They need a care team. And pharmacy is a core part of that care team and making sure um, people are taking their meds, picking up their meds, um, getting them delivered to their home. I think delivery is really a core aspect of our strategy because a lot of these seniors or people that are experiencing these chronic conditions are homebound and they can't come in and um, they're uncomfortable buying things off the internet too, still. And so they want a trusted partner. So we see this a lot with diabetes, with uh, heart medications. Um, we see a lot of people that are struggling uh, and trying to manage these chronic conditions and you know need sort of a one-stop shop for things. Yeah, I, that ties in a little bit with what we're seeing and reading about and hearing about more of these hospital at home programs or the pharmacies like yourself that are starting to provide more services to keep people aging in place. And it's one of my biggest um, quests right now or mission or whatever you want to call it that I feel like for somebody who wants to age in place at home, um, if you have the physician or clinical provider coming to your house, that's great. If you have the mobile x-ray equipment coming to your home, that's great. If you have the pharmacist coming to your home, great. Skilled health to the home, awesome. Physical therapy, awesome. But a critical part of it to me is you better have a good incontinence product and work with, whether it's a manufacturer or distributor or pharmacy like Hallers, but somebody that puts that product because all of those acts of assistance can be nullified very quickly if everybody's in there eight to five Monday, but Monday night, mom or dad is going to bed and they're unfortunately wearing no ill will, but wearing an inferior product and mm -hmm. they leak and they get up and they fall. Everything that was just done to help them can go away quickly. So um, are you seeing more of those types of either programs or just in general people saying, yeah, I want to, I want to be home longer. One, all, all the time, all over the place. Um, you know, we have a very diverse ethnic population here in the Bay Area where people feel more comfortable at home. There's multi-generational families living together and, you know, more family members saying, I'd rather have a caretaker come to the home and take care of, you know, mom and dad or whoever's in need rather than send them to a facility. I want them to know their grandchildren, to speak the language, to, to be comfortable, to eat the food. I, I think it's a lot of that. And so that's what we were noticing when we, when I first joined the pharmacy, that we were selling a lot of product that was, I would say, incontinence backup products that were, you know, the chuck, as they call them in the industry. And my office was right where we used to put the incontinence. And I said, if our number one seller is the pads, then that means we have to get to the root cause. And when we started carrying Seni, yeah, definitely it wasn't brand name that was known. It was, you know, uh, different. We, we don't bill for insurance anyways, but, um, you know, it wasn't part what you can get at Target or on Amazon or wherever. And so it was a little bit of um, a learning curve for our community, but when they got the samples and they started using it and they, they came back and they would buy in bulk and they would say, because it makes my family members experience at home so much more comfortable and the caretakers were happier and whether that's a family member or a hired caretaker, just the quality of life 
just improved because you were using, like you said, better products that needed less changing, didn't leak, um, and and like you said, prevented a whole slew of additional worry in the house um, because that one, you know, incontinence is something that not everybody talks about, but is is a really big concern when you do decide to get care at home um, because you you know it's not. Some people can't afford 24-hour care, but you need products that can supplement that, if that makes sense. Yeah, it definitely makes sense. And I know we um, we like working we, we like working with everybody, but we like working with your group, too, is because you do take advantage of the product training um, with your staff. And so I always think a customer of yours that's coming into that pharmacy can feel confident and comfortable that that staff is trained when it comes to what size a, a loved one might need for a product, what absorbency level, which is to me the way it should be with a community pharmacy. That's why people would go there, I would think, versus um, a big box store to get that personal touch and, and that uh, education behind it. Um, from what you were just talking about, and I know we talked prior to this recording just offline a little bit, but I think the clinical services, that um, service that you offer could be super helpful to people in the area. Can you just share, Jasmine, for viewers, a little bit of a highlight or what that um, consists of, some of the different clinical services that Hallers offers? Sure. Um, we do a lot around chronic care management and working with physicians to ensure that patients are picking up their meds, they're taking them on time, they're reporting any negative uh, side effects, and that we do a lot of medication reviews, because a lot of times patients are seeing multiple uh, physicians, uh, for, you know, multiple specialists, and there's sometimes not that overview of somebody who's looking at the medications. So we do a lot of work by going and having patients come in or over the phone or even at the local senior center. Like you said, we do a lot of community outreach. We go to the local community centers where people will bring their big plastic bags. These are everything that I'm taking. And we notice, you know, the, the discrepancies of, you know, how much are they taking of their heart medication? How much are they taking uh, of their anxiety medication? How much are they taking for their diabetic medication? Are they in sync? Are they, um, are, are they being taken regularly? Who, what side effects are you, you know, facing from some of these? So we do a lot of that. Um, we do a lot of testing. So we do a lot of diabetes testing and cholesterol checks, uh, as well as, um, you know, going home and doing immunizations. Um, that's one of the things I think we're the proudest of is, there are a lot of homebound seniors. So we work with um, local charities that do like Meals on Wheels and other things to identify patients that might not be getting care and that are may not be up to date on their immunizations. As I think we all know from COVID, you know, getting those boosters and getting those shots and even your shingles or your flu vaccines or your pneumonia vaccines, um, you just can't get to the pharmacy, you can't get to your primary care. So we identify those patients. And then we identify by looking at their, you know, living situation and seeing what other services would they might need. So we're really proud of the fact that uh, we're trusted to come in home or be on the phone. Uh, our pharmacists are, are part of this community to really understand what the patient's total needs are. And, you know, a lot of times, incontinence is a part of it because it's that quality of life that I talk about. Um, you know, it's embarrassing for a lot of seniors or people who are becoming homebound to talk about or to see and, you know, to understand. And so those are the, those are the things that we're really proud that we like to do in the community. Yeah, I think your, um, your staff is very compassionate too. And what I like is, I always think of homebound seniors and a big part of it when you put the services for sure, you put products that people need for sure, and then you put the expertise and experience, absolutely, that checks all the boxes. But with a compassionate staff too, I think you folks add a social element to those homebound seniors or 
to the people that are coming to your stores. It works both ways where I feel like you could have a widow or a widower at home that's becoming more homebound and they may have family out of state and see very few people. And then that whole social aspect comes into play. So I call it when you when you have home side manner, that's my my <laughs> term, right? It doesn't have yeah. dead side manner, but home side manner, it helps. It uh, and there's a big difference where someone's more welcoming to let you in. And and then to me, when you're having conversations, you can take better care both sides and, and just feel kind of feel the love, so to speak. Yeah. We have a rule at the pharmacy, you know, the phone, once the phone rings, pick it up as, as quickly as possible, because like a lot of times, like you said, this might be the only interaction that they're going to have during the day. They want to talk to the pharmacist, talk to uh, somebody who knows what's going on. And that compassion, I am really proud of my staff because, you know, we provide the training opportunities. That's what I can do as, a, as the owner, but they take them and they take those opportunities and they run with them because they, they realize that the importance that it has to their community and how it can help. And when they go out to health fairs or just pick up the phone and um, talk to somebody, um, the, the feeling that they get of, you know, really helping is, is great. Yeah, super. Well, we certainly appreciate our relationship with you. You know that we're a phone call away if you or your staff or any of the people that you service need samples or anything, we're here to help. And I just want to say thank you for our entire team because uh, we value all our relationships. Yours is a little bit special in a wonderful way that you were one of the first to believe in the Sunny product. And we appreciate that very much. Yeah. And I appreciate the fact that the mutual relationship, because when you choose to rely on a single vendor, so I took out everything else in my store. And that was a, it was a rough decision um, because, you know, people, people get committed to a, a brand or a product or whatever, but um, just knowing the support I had from Seni to train my staff, to train the community, to understand that we can have this conversation. It's, it might be hard, and that we as a trusted partner in the community only want to provide the best and only want to provide products that we believe in. You know, this is something that I would, um, that we've had situations personally, um, staff members, my family members, that when it came to being homebound or those, uh, those dark days at home where, you know, they, they couldn't take care of themselves, you know, we rushed out any products to them. And because we knew what we were providing to our own families, we were providing to the community was the best products. Yeah, that's the best when you feel confident that if it's good yeah. enough for the family member, it's, it's good enough for the general public. Exactly. Super. Yeah. Well, thanks again. We appreciate your time very much. Thanks, Jasmine. And um, I'm anxious to get out to Northern California soon and see you in person. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Super. Thank you. Thank you.